Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Yo, what's going on, G-Dot family? It's your boy, G-Dot TZ, back with the VZ. We got another feel me, you feel me? You don't know, because you don't feel me, because you don't know what's going on. We got a dumbass doing some dumbass shit. If you're gonna do credit card fraud, or if you're gonna do, like, scamming and shit like that, make it count. Don't be going to hotels and goddamn going and getting spies and all this other stupid ass shit. Why? You can't afford that with regular money? You scam to go to a spa? You're stupid. But let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I also want to follow me on Instagram, and Twitter, Let's go ahead and get straight into it. I just read the number in the lab. And she bought a gift card for $450. Yeah, it's and they call her in the middle of this massage? That's crazy. I'm doing all right, ma'am. Go ahead and stand up. Stop, I'm stop, sorry. Don't, don't fight. But I'm sorry. So I, I don't. Officer, I honestly I told don't you I'm care. Sorry. In Florida, officers <laughs> received a phone call from a massage parlor related to a woman who decided she wanted to purchase a three-hour spa session. Although that may seem normal, normal the woman offered to pay extra for the best masseuse and even included a 450 dollars gift card in her purchase to make matters worse she decided she wanted to make her purchase with a stolen credit card and the fact y'all think people won't find out that you're using info like the world has caught up okay this isn't 2016 2017 where people didn't know that you could do this shit everybody's hip everybody know what scamming is everybody know what fraud is everybody knows what's going on like you need to change the game. Y'all doing stupid shit. When officers arrived, the credit card owner was on the phone with the massage parlor and he stated that the $650 charge was fraudulent. And that they should immediately call the police. She didn't show us the picture. She mm -hmm. just read the number in the lab. And she bought a gift card for $450. From you guys? Stupid as hell. exact amount that the couple was reporting to us. Uh -huh. Where's you? And you gonna get a three hour massage? A three hour massage? The officer was shown the suspect in question. She appeared to be relaxing, getting a massage all from the stolen credit card. But what she didn't know is things was about to make a turn when questioned about whose credit card she used. All right. Then they try to use that, I don't know, I don't know shit. No one cares, baby. You're going to jail. Where's she at? Question for you: Did she show you the picture of the card, or did she just she just read it all she from? from was well, she still on the phone when that was happening? No, she wanted. She, she was just looking at her phone. Was the message on your phone? No, he called it into me. They're saying that you were reading off your phone, so. Yeah, can you see the text? well that doesn't make sense so the card owner can can't be calling the place saying that that's fraud and then you're saying they gave you the car that doesn't you know what i'm saying you got to come up with a better lie than that
I can't go over. That's crazy. Oh, three more minutes. Oh. This is crazy. Where's your car at? You said you came in the Uber? Yeah, well, I came through the Uber, but my car That's crazy, though. How does that happen? I don't know, but... That's crazy. Let's go get your ID. So what do we do from here? Like... I mean, uh, if you're claiming that, yeah, and whatever, so you could... I'll have you write a statement. Yeah, but do you know how your husband got that card no, then? Babe, like, I don't, I'm about to say, babe, because I'm so shocked. Because literally, he just called me and he's like, babe, just go ahead and pay for me. I'm like, okay, no problem. But my this is also why you gotta stop dating scammers and drug dealers. They don't care about you. You know when a drug dealer, like, is gonna get called, he asks you to take the charge. And he's like, he's probably gonna leave you high and dry nine times out of ten when, he do, when you do take the charge. Or your scammers spoiling you and spending all this money on you when it's time to go down though or they send you off with these cards they're not coming to get you like you gotta stop dating scammers and drug dealers and thinking that you turn or they're thinking that you got some shit emotion because you don't you're just dating a criminal I, I don't know why you think that's cute my thing is how is it saying fraud when it's, it's this like we use that card like, i don't understand that part i don't understand Me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Um, I'm so shocked, sir. I, I never had this happen before, so. <laughs> is this oh. your car? I know, this is my brother's car. All right, what's your this first name? Crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Smith. Smith is my last name. My car. Oh, this is crazy. Because I'll let you write a statement, so at least. I'm sorry. I said at least you'll write a statement, and I'll see what's going on, but. Thank you. At the at the minimum, I got to do a report because realistically, you couldn't you you could have been going you could have been going to jail. You can send the front for me. Yeah. On how to escalate to jail too. Oh, okay. Hi, is this Mr. Uh, Colt? Yeah. All right, this is Deputy Smith, the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Um, in yeah. reference to your card, you you physically have the card? What was that? Yeah, I said, do you physically have the credit card, sir? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, it's over. Do you want to press charges? Um, sure, yeah. All right. Um, this is going to be recorded since you are, you're in East County, right? Are you in uh, Florida? Florida, uh, Kissimmee, right yeah. off of uh, 192. All right, so I'm going to let you know that I'm going to record this so okay. I could use this since there's no way for me to physically meet with you. Um, are you okay with me recording this conversation? Yeah. All right. Cool. Explain to me what happened. Um, I, I really don't know. Just, my wife called me and told me that we had a, uh, she asked me if I made a charge at that, that uh, nail salon. And I told her I didn't, and she called the credit card company and canceled the card, and then we called the nail salon company themselves to let them know that, you know, what had happened. Okay. Um. But me and my wife, we both have the credit card, it's the, it's the same number, her card and my card. Her card and your so, card? And then we both basically have our cards with us. Okay. No, that's fine. Just go ahead and turn around. You, I gotta go. Out. I gotta yeah, get. You're going. Why? You're go because you. A, you lied to me. First so, off, I'm stop. Sorry. Don't don't fight. But I'm sorry. So, I you lied and did all that shit. Then thought you was gonna get out of it because you were sorry. Put it in your look. I I don't. I honestly I told don't you I'm care. Sorry. If you, don't fight. I honestly don't care if you're sorry or not. But here's the thing: they want to press charges, well, and the fact they that press you, charges? yeah, they want to press charges. Well, still, no, babe. I, I I told them I did not take that from them. I did not take that from him, sir. I got this from my boyfriend. I thought it was your husband. No, that is my husband. You went I'm from sorry. husband no, 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 to boyfriend. You gave me the wrong name. There's nothing to be, don't be sorry. You just, 
own up to your stuff. No the fact that you, you said you're from New York and you didn't have an uh, ID and then I, I run you and mean. then you have an ID in Florida. No, we're not playing these games. You made stupid choices and you get stupid consequences. So that's what's happening. All right. Stupid ass shit. All right, there we oh, go. Yes, Do you have anything that will poke me, stick me, hurt me or anything like that? No, All right, cool. Go ahead and turn around, face the flag, spread your feet. Able to, like, anything I can do? No. You can go to the jail and then you could figure it out from there. It's too late now. Please, sir, I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize well, to I me. Did, I, did not, I didn't do anything. That's my thing. I'm like, I did not. You broke like, I did not do that. When he gave me the car number, that's how I used it. You knew he was giving you a stolen car, though. You didn't think that was his car. Like, come on now, stop acting dumb. You, you can. Yeah, can I call her? Yeah. Can I call her? You can Please. call out the jail. They'll let you get the numbers out of your phone. That's one thing I do shout out to the jail system. They let you get the numbers out your phone. Shout out to them for that. Am I able to get a bond or anything? I will let you know at the jail. Yeah, That was just stupid. That was just dumb as hell. Like, you did all that for no reason. Like... And then you could, okay, it's one thing to just get the massage, you know, it's 250 200 whatever. You got a 450 credit card on top of the massage, and you got the massage for three hours, thinking you was hot shit. You deserve to go to jail for that. I just wanted to let me know um, for the business. Boom, perfect. Thank you. The suspect was taken down to the local jail and was given a free inmate uniform to wear. She was hit with fraud charges. She was given two days in jail and probation. We're sure that's enough punishment to prevent her from committing another crime ever again. But it probably is. She probably gonna start crying and all this other shit. But you never know. She probably get out and do the same shit. Man, you gotta watch these dumb assholes.